hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking my video and tuning in if you're new here please 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 feel free to hit the subscribe button make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that i post if you're returning thank you so much every day we face challenges with mental health and getting that word out means so much to me so i thank you so much to those that are reposting my things and sharing my things right straight to it it's been on my chest lately i keep saying that i want to talk about it so guess what we're going to talk about it because that's what we do on my channel social media twitter instagram snapchat great i i mean it's carried me my youth years you know and I can't sit here and say it's all bad and it's all ugly. That's why I wanted to mention the good. I want to start off with the good. So a little disclaimer, I did watch Social Dilemma, okay? And that got me to thinking, that got the gears to ticking. If you have not seen Social Dilemma, if you have not seen Social Dilemma, please stop whatever you're doing and watch Social Dilemma. Great documentary, will explain so many things. What I really want to start off with saying is social media does have great there is an abundance of good pages you can follow tip helpful tips lifestyle tips fitness pages black owned business pages if you want to follow i don't know your uncle that you ain't seen in five years you know that it's great to do that and we can see everyone's lives and it kind of gives us that ability at our fingertips to do just that and we can do all those things in like a second not even it's it's kind of brilliant when you think about it even i see people that vent on social media i originally put venting under the good portion well then i got to thinking that might not be so good when you're venting on this social media platform one everybody know your business i honestly have started being more private and closing off those things that i was so quick to post on social media like your car and things in my apartment or things like that should not be plastered all over the internet however i did it and i really thought about my actions and what i was doing i don't know if you guys saw the post that i posted on instagram but i really want people to understand like when you sit and ask yourself before you post something is this necessary is this for the good of the group and i guarantee you you're gonna say no at like 90 percent of the things that you're gonna post and when i started to ask myself these things and I, i'm kind of growing up too i have work to do i have stuff you know it's distracting i even noticed like towards the beginning of my counseling program it was very hard sitting in zoom because i was on my phone just so i can get my work done i sat on the couch in class got my work done turned the tv off all these distractions and social media is just a major major distraction for a lot of people when i had venting on the good side i did drag it over back to the bad side because i was like that just is a, a platform for people to project i never really understood exactly what projection is projection is when people project their anger and their their sadness onto people sometimes we don't even know we're doing it but like for instance i saw this post just for an example a 17 year old girl had got her own house and you know if she's happy we have to just let her be happy mind our business but there were so many people in the comments that stated i feel so sorry for her like and then there was people that were saying oh my gosh she's crazy why would she move out she's only 17 she's a baby or people were mad like oh wow good for her who cares like have we forgotten that these are people mind your business like that's none of your if she yeah i mean yeah that's her page she should have a right to post it however who are we to sit there and judge her and attack her for doing something that she deems is is successful to her happy to her and so many times I really see that we have just created this way to get into people's business because people are putting it out. You know what I mean? That's all social media is. We're commenting on somebody saying that they just bought the new 11s or something. And you know, sometimes people, they're not always happy for you. They're not always, you know, wanting you to do good in life. So when you post these things that are supposed to be private to us, people somewhere are looking at these things that you're posting and they're like, man, Da, 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 X, y, Z. they're wishing negative things onto you and sometimes people i have seen it where people post a car and not even a week or two after they have this 
catastrophic thing that happens you know whether it's a car accident or even like something as measly as a blown tire listen to me people will prey on your downfall because it's not happening for them okay i look at some celebrities that are just so freely and open with where they're living and their living arrangements and how their their homes are set up i've made myself more private and i've been so much happier also what we allow ourselves to consume so the first thing you wake up and you're seeing the shade room and this negativity and all this this toxicity first thing in the morning how in the world i started implementing positive affirmations in the morning i wake up first thing first i go ahead and say whatever type of positive affirmation i want to set for the day keep that in mind i say it i write it whatever then i go to the gym mind you still haven't looked at my phone still have not got on my phone still have not gone on social media people don't understand but limit what you see because what you're seeing and consuming you will become that so if you wake up and you're seeing negative things and you're seeing all these toxic things it's it's not good even though it is in this world we shouldn't allow ourselves to be that and become those things once you decent yourself and you take that break i took myself a long social media break and i really just asked myself what are these people doing social media is nothing but a platform given to people to flex and to just make these facades sometimes because i really know these people in real life and what they're posting i promise you and i'm gonna hurt somebody's feelings with this one i know i am it doesn't match you know and i'm like well is that healthy you know because that people paint this pretty picture like everything's is all gravy and everything's all fine but in reality it's not because you want someone to just know that you have it so good and it's okay not to have it good now that i don't sit on instagram for hours and snapchat and twitter scrolling through different apps i have so much more time i can go to the gym now i can write in my journal i can go do yoga i can do things wake up early in the morning make it to work on time and and ugh, listen People keep asking me, am I going to make my private page? Am I going to come back to social media? Don't think so. I really don't. Because I feel so much better and everything is so private now. I can only suggest these things. I can't take your hands and make y'all get off social media. However, I can suggest that we think about our actions on social media. And we kind of look at the things we're consuming. And look at what it is that we're doing on social media and think. Thank you so much for sitting and watching me talk about another topic. <laughs> but if you guys have any more topics that you guys want me to talk about, don't be scared. Let me know. As always, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys next time on my next video. Bye.